Okay, this is my Frankenstein motor under glass. And uh, it's just working on the uh, the battery right now. There is some sun coming through the window. It's late afternoon. But uh, that shows you what's going on under glass right there. And I did a preliminary uh, sketches and diagram just to show people what's going on. I may build another one of these and then... Uh, break it down in steps so you can see how the thing is actually built but it's rather complicated and uh it doesn't really make sense when you look at it why it would even work but it does work obviously but uh yeah it, it is a frankenstein monster built you know it's just something that uh, i threw together with bits and pieces and came up with this um this is uh solar panels they're half volt, uh, 100 milliamp panels. Uh, there's a coil of wire. It's 30 gauge on a plastic sewing machine bobbin, no core. There's a reed switch right here on the side of the coil that gets activated by a magnet. And then the LED is across the windings of the coil and flashes when the reed switch opens up. Um, the, the power reservoir is a... Um, 4 farad 5 volt supercapacitor, but then at the input of the power, uh, there's a brass collar up here that uh, is eccentric that rubs up against a wire, and then the needle is attached to the other part of the commutation, so you get power into the um, into the motor up here at the top. And that just wobbles around in such a way that it makes a contact from time to time enough to put power in the supercapacitor and um, drive the motor. You probably see the LED flash in there. This is the basic circuit diagram. And like I say, it doesn't really make sense. I may, like I say, do a build video and um, do some different parts. But it's a basic reed switch pulse motor. This is all it is right here. Uh, when the coil goes by the magnet, um, the uh, reed switch is activated, uh, pushes it away. When the uh, reed switch opens up again, the field uh, in the coil collapses and causes the LED to flash. This is the supercapacitor, which is down here at the bottom. It's just one of those pancake supercapacitors. But then what I've got to feed the supercapacitor is a couple of these half volt 100 milliamp solar panels um, so that it'll run on this, in solar, in solar light. But then I added the battery to it. And because these have a high impedance, uh, high resistance value, it doesn't short the battery out. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. But I feed the whole system with a brush system here that part of it is the needle and the other part is this brush and um, commutator up here at the top and that's how the uh, energy from the uh, AAA gets up into the uh, the motor now the other part of the wire um, is underneath that magnet for the uh, needle that's the plus part and then like I say the negative part uh, is connecting to the motor right there with that wire. I painted uh, part of that brass with fingernail polish so that it wouldn't rub all the time. It'll only rub part of the time to try to cut down the power consumption out of the battery. But that's the Frankenstein motor under glass. And um, I don't know. I, I called it Frankenstein because it was such a hodgepodge of parts and it wasn't very pretty. But the more I work with this, the more I like it. Uh, it's, it's just pretty darn neat what's going on. I may build another one using parts out of the solar waivers. Using the panel and the coil, I would need two of these solar waivers and then a coil. And then I might switch to a lower value on the super cap um, that's easier to find because you don't really need four farad. The reason for the super cap is if, if the sun uh, goes behind a cloud and you're running on solar only, you'd need enough uh, reservoir in the motor to keep the motor running until the sun came back out. Now to run at night, of course, you've got to have battery power. And this is the question mark. How big of a battery 
would I need to run something like this? And the answer to that question is in that coil right there. And what I'd have to do is use a very high resistance fine wire coil like that. And uh, Grandad and Slider, you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, Laser Saber, if you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about too. The heart of all of our long running uh, low amp uh, motors is the coil resistance and the fine wire high resistance coils to make these uh, low amp motors work. So I think I could possibly build one of these with a fine wire coil there with this same kind of setup. Use a very, very short commutation point here to take power into it at night and then you might just have a 24 hour seven day a week runner that's the frankenstein motor thanks for watching